afternoon viewers welcome back to Butler Family Farm stop thanks for coming by our channel and I hope you uh, will enjoy this video this first part uh, somehow the mic uh, didn't connect into the camera so I'm doing a voiceover so what you're hearing doesn't match up to my lips but here's what's happening I am uh, going to harvest the first bucket row of my potatoes. They've done their flower, they're all drooped over, and we're going to do this out here on the back porch because the potatoes are just around the corner. I have a um, plant pot rack per se over a um, uh, tote and I'm going to uh, dump my bucket and use the plant tray, I think, to hold the potatoes. And I'm just going to dump this into a tote that's up here on this step. You can't quite see it yet. Um, I'll bring it down. Or I'll go up. Um, this is what it looks like. You can see all the roots in there. And... Um, um, we're going to carefully go through. Yeah, thank you. Carefully go through for potatoes. I'm not real big on uh, using a pitchfork or whatever because I in inevitably will damage the potatoes. So we'll see what we've got in here. And remember when I planted these buckets, they had like anywhere from two to three seed potatoes in there. I'm going to use the plant. Uh, holder pot pl starting plant pot carrier whatever you want to call it uh, for my potatoes so that I can cure them and here's a what's it Ken Kennebec I planted Kennebec and red um, a red potato I can't remember the names I have them in my notes but not with me so I'm carefully digging through the dirt so I don't miss anything because when they come out real teeny tiny you can use those for seed potatoes uh, seed starts for next year so I'm going through this very carefully I'm going to reuse this dirt there's a red potato and you don't clean the potatoes off you don't wash them it's like eggs until you're ready to use them you don't clean them because you take off the protective uh, coating that they they get when they're growing um, I'm not going to use this dirt again for potatoes but I can use it for um, a couple of lettuce beds that I'm thinking about doing it over the winter uh, that I didn't get to try last year so there's five buckets in this uh, first row of potatoes and we're working on the first one That's a good size red potato. Just going through and crumbling up the clods and separating out the t two or three uh, plant above ground part of the of the potato like that probably give that to the chickens to mess around with give them something to play with for the day and then I'm going to take the dirt that's in this tote and put it in another container for all of them I think we found just about all that we're going to find in this first bucket couple small ones those white potatoes are pretty good I think there's a couple red ones so we'll go on to the next bucket bucket number two this only has one plant above ground there were like I said two or three 
potato starts in each one so and I did my buckets per the Hollis and Nancy Homestead way they've got some really good videos out there on uh, bucket planting so we'll go through this one see what we find couple small ones there. Probably use those for seed potatoes. Rest assured the mic does come on a little bit later in the video, but as it is, we're doing it voiceover. Not sure. Yeah, there's there is a couple good size potatoes in this in this one these these are white potatoes they're Kennec K-E-N-N-E-C potatoes and the red ones I don't it, don't remember exactly what I got by the time I got down to MFA to get my seed potatoes there wasn't like a whole lot and when you plant in buckets you don't have to uh, work with the uh, ground temperatures and whatever so you actually can plant two seasons of potatoes if you do it right and I might try that next year start early in March and eight, well, eight after the first frost in the buckets and uh, calculate my days out and then uh, maybe do a second second season going into the fall So this again is bucket number two out of the five. Not a good, not a good uh, harvest. Now remember, I still have a second row of buckets uh, outside, and I've got two or three in-ground uh, potato plants out in the garden to harvest out. We just tried several different ways and we did the buckets in progression. So okay. gonna go dump this dirt. And this will be bucket number three. Got two good sized red potatoes out of there. Look at those roots. I can't wait to see what the sweet potatoes are going to turn out. This is all uh, store-bought potty mix. I don't do a lot of buckets, so I don't make it in big batches. I buy it. And then we also had some topsoil delivered and some mushroom soil that we uh, combined up with regular potting soil as well. This is a nice shady place to work. It's on the back steps of our house. And the potatoes are just um, around the corner, not too far away, so. There's the plant, there's the r red potato plant. And 
I'm just leaving my straw toppings in there. Just kind of all mix it up together when I do the lettuce later on. So this little cathargic, it helps like playing in the sand at the beach or something, you know, running your hands through all this dirt. And I definitely had gardener fingernails after this. Not too many it looks like out of this bucket. But I think it was okay for the first row of buckets. It's not anything to write home about, and it's not uh, a 200 potato, 200 pound potato harvest that uh, the Prairie Homesteader had a couple years ago. That was that was awesome. So this bucket, this uh, tote's going to get dumped over in with the other two, and we'll be on to uh, our fourth bucket. Okay, I had to move the camera because I was using the last bucket as a prop. So bucket number five of the first bucket row of potatoes. Here's, here's the start of the plant. Yep, here we go. So, so far each bucket has averaged three or four, you know, edible these aren't edible. These are these are seed potatoes for next year. That's what I'll keep those for. I'll check into how to preserve them. Ooh, this is nice. So far it looks like the red potatoes size-wise, maybe not quite quantity. So maybe I just need to separate them out better. Have a bucket of red and a bucket of white and red, white. If they had blue, then I'd have red, white, and blue. <laughs> well, it looks like that just had two red potatoes in there. That's fine. So, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, hard, you know harden those off. I'm saving the dirt. I can use it in um, you know a couple of fall uh, gardens veggies that we're going to put out in a week or so. Um, I'm going to cover it up. And save it because it is it's really good dirt. It was only used once. I just have to amend it slightly. But here's my little potato harvest with of one bucket row. I have five more buckets that there's another week or so to go. A couple weeks they haven't started to turn yellow the leaves and stuff. And then I have two or three plants out in the garden uh, that uh, I'm waiting for the foliage to. Uh, die off. So until the next harvest, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good afternoon and I hope it might, it's a little bit cooler than, for you than it is for us. It's 92 right now with the heat index making it 102. Now there is a breeze but 
Um, not enough. Till next time.